workers after the first pandemic lockdowns, labor participation rates are just now getting back to what they were before COVID-19. Though not every industry is able to find enough workers to return to pre-pandemic productivity levels, KCRG TV9's Abigail Curtin is live in the studio with what industries are struggling to find workers and how experts believe Iowa can now alleviate that stress. Well, after the demand for labor hit a sharp decline during quarantine, service industries have struggled to reach pre-COVID employment rates, making it almost impossible for small businesses to hire enough employees. This Cedar Rapids restaurant, TikTok, is a prime example of the ongoing struggle to find workers even after the pandemic. I know we've held open interviews and people don't show up. I've hired people. I'm like, hey, you know, this is your first day. Didn't show up. The frustration shows up in state labor data. After state unemployment rates rose to nearly 183,000 in April of 2020, many workers older than 40 never returned to the workforce because they now had the money to retire or quit. The older workers were the ones who atypically dropped out. Part of that was because of uh, government increased payments for unemployment benefits, so they were both more generous and easier to get. But also, 401ks were uh, increasing at a very rapid rate. We had about a 30%, 40% run-up in the value of your, your pensions uh, in 2020 and 2021. And Fewer workers means those who remained could demand higher wages and better benefits. And the competition for top talent compounded the problem, making it even harder to find reliable employees while still making a profit. It's kind of hard for us to find good quality candidates or you know when you do find somebody they might get a better opportunity somewhere else which you know it does happen. Though Iowa's labor force has had a slower recovery, Arazim believes it's time to reckon with the facts and find new solutions. I just don't think that Iowa is going to be able to get those older workers who decided to drop out. They're just not coming back. So we're either going to have to attract people from other states or we're going to have to hope that there's an increase in uh, nationwide immigration and we get our share of those workers. Arazim noted due to lockdowns, immigration rates hit a sharp decline during the pandemic. But considering immigration accounted for 38% of Iowa's population growth since 2000, the sudden drop off has had a large effect on the size of the labor force. Live in studio, Abigail Curtin, KCRG TV9 News. <sighs>